Video Productions. All right, everybody. So I just got this new Old Shark brand high definition dash camera. I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing. I've already cut the tape, but I'm gonna open it up, show you all what's inside. There we go, got the actual dash cam itself. Cable to connect it with. Uh, obviously, this is what it connects to in the vehicle. Not sure how many feet this is. Older style plug there. Got some hardware. And a little suction cup. All right, gonna put this in the wife's car, and we're gonna mount this sucker up. And I'll show y'all some footage of how it looks. Taking a look at this thing here. I don't know if y'all can see that right by where my thumb is, but that's the microphone. So apparently, this does record in cam or in dash audio. So that should be pretty cool. Okay, one last thing I, I want to show you guys before we go into the car tomorrow is that this camera does come, oh, show it, with a 32 gig SD card included, which I believe will play 310 minutes of 1080p and 500 and so many minutes, I'm not sure, of 720. And that little sucker does not want to go in or out very well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got the old shark mounted in the Guice car for now. Uh, I haven't, I didn't route this wire, but you know, you're just route the wire out of the way as possible. But since this isn't going to stay in this car, I'm not going to go do all that crap. So we're just going to, uh, I would go through some of these options, but you can't really tell because of the glare of the sun. But uh, we're going to fiddle around with this a little bit and then I'll try to extract some footage for y'all.
Okay, so after doing an hour and 41 minutes of driving today, yeah, I've had to go everywhere. It's the Saturday after Black Friday, so there's still lots of sales. Um, I'm going to try to go over a few things I've figured out so far. So this thing does have like a zoom. It does zoom in pretty well. Let's see how many times. It's one, two, three, four. Uh, four and a half. So I guess it's a four and a half time zoom. So that's pretty cool. Um, has a button over. Let's see which was the button? Was it this one? No. Okay. This M right here. I don't know if you can see that. That mutes the mic. So there is a mic that mutes it and unmutes it. For the sake of this video or the videos that I've recorded, I'm just going to end up muting it uh, through the editing program anyway and then so it's this one here that shuts off the video it's still recording but it just makes it to where it doesn't distract you while you drive or if you want to see it you can now it looks like by hitting this ok it starts the recording and stops the recording so I'll have to figure out once I um, plug this into the computer how many actual files I have, how how long it uh, breaks these up into, and I'll get back to y'all later in the video on that one. But for now, I'm going to turn this off. But I was just showing you some of the features that it has that I've noticed stopping in various parking lots through all the places we have to go shopping today. All right, guys, I will see y'all in a minute. So we're back. Um, I'm going to show you a few more things uh, about the camera. When it's not recording, you can hit the mic button and it'll prompt. You can go in and change any of your settings by hitting OK right here. Let's see if we can a little bit clearer on there. stamp on yes and then if you just hit the M button twice it'll send you over here Got date and time beep sound might want to change that's pretty annoying language frequency screensavers light set parking guard license no set format version 
default. So let's go ahead and try to format that card. All data will be deleted. So I guess every time you run over, you have to format the card. Because I did uh, record for about six hours and it did stop. So I guess you have to format the card to continue. And hopefully you can just extract whatever files you need by the end of the day. Let's let's not delete those quite yet. Let's see, it's it's 2017. Okay, so I figured out what this uh, button here does. You hold it. Oh, that's not it. Hold it, it takes a picture. These are some of the photos that I took, not knowing what I was doing. You get the point. Let's go and delete these. Delete current. Delete all. Okay. Okay, so here's what it says about this whole uh, uh, stop recording thing. It says efficiently use memory card storage. It can, it can, what the hell? It can recording seamless. Awesome English. It can recording seamless. Customize video clip to three, five, or ten minutes. The recording be divided into three, five, ten. My nuts. I'm just reading what it says, folks. See if you can. Right there. Three, five, ten. My nuts. The earliest unlocked video clip will be overwritten when the memory card full <laughs> so uh, I guess that's the jury on that so I just have to figure out why there were locked videos on there and some of them should have been unlocked so I'll figure that out later but if you go off the grammar of the instruction manual you might not want to get it but I say hell it, it's doing all right <laughs> So, overall what I can tell is, it works pretty well, it takes a uh, decent video in 1080, it, um, it doesn't do very well at night, I, uh, I'm not crazy about it at night, uh, it does require a lot of light in order to work very well, so, that'll be a con for it for sure, well, uh, I have some video on there you can tell how it's, how it uh how it films at night but overall so far looks pretty good yet I've only used it one day so we will see but for the price that it is and everything else you know it's pretty much worth it all right guys well I guess that's it uh so until next time <laughs>